Hello Chic friends, this is Fiona Ferris from howtobechic.com and author of A Chic and Simple Christmas, available on Amazon in uh, print copy and also Kindle. Today is day 7 of my 10 chic days of Christmas, looking at making your December more calm and joyous. And my tip today is to look at your social occasions and uh, special events coming up. It might be Christmas Day for you, it might be a Christmas party, it might be you hosting some people around, and it's stepping through the way that you are going to show up. I'm doing a side ponytail today, I thought I'd try that. Um, and what it means is that you would look at the occasion, say it's Christmas Day for you. In the past, um, for me, Christmas Day, it's a free-for-all. <laughs> it's eat and drink whatever you like and just relax as you grow up it's a little bit less relaxed because you're hosting but when you're younger um, like say in your 20s and that kind of thing when you're not quite hosting yet you can just go along you can eat everything that's laid on for you there's no real pressure for you to provide um, and you just can really uh, guts yourself <laughs> that was how I looked at it and then as you get older you're hosting so it's not quite um, so free and easy but it's still a time when I would let loose I would eat more than I had intended to or just think well today doesn't count I can just eat all those little bowls of nibbles that are around and um, obviously there's no calories on Christmas day and have two helpings of dessert like big bowls piled high with pavlova and ice cream and fruit and it didn't really help you'd feel revolting at the end of the day um, maybe someone makes a comment on what you've got in your plate, how big your plate is piled. I that happened to me a few years ago, not so long ago. Um, and I don't know, it doesn't make you feel good. So that was pretty rude on that person's part, but um, maybe it makes you think about what you're putting on your plate. And so if you think, well, I want to be that chic and elegant lady who has a really nice, relaxed Christmas day, but she also, uh, like, she enjoys herself, but she doesn't have regrets the next day on what she has eaten and drunk. So walk through your day and just play it out in your mind like it's a movie. Think about, well, we're going to get there about lunchtime and then we're probably going to have maybe like a champagne or something before lunch or sparkling water for me. And... Um, then there's going to be lunchtime, there's going to be bowls of things around, there's going to be food and dessert and um, people as well, not just about food, but it's about interacting with people. So for me, I might think, well, I'm not going to eat anything out of the bowls. I'm not going to eat any nibbles or sweets or nuts or whatever or chippies. I'm just going to have a drink before lunch and I'm going to go into my lunch because, uh, nice and fresh and hungry because... I have not been nibbling away on Christmas goodies that are around, no matter how tempting they look, because really, you can have them any time of the year. You don't need to eat everything on Christmas Day, and I know it's the same for Thanksgiving in America, that it's a big festive eating occasion, and you can eat any other day of the year. You can have food any other day of the year to excess if you want to, or treat foods or whatever. So I would then go into my lunch, and I think, well, I'll have a nice single plate of lunch. I won't go back for seconds. And then I'll have a nice dessert, um, also just one plate, no seconds. And rolling it out in your mind before time, it's almost like you've got this track to run on. And it makes it easier. You're not having to make a decision at the time of what to have and not have, or how to eat or react or whatever, because you've already pre-played it in your mind. And the same goes, so that's just with food. And it actually, crazy enough, crazily enough makes it easier to not um, it, it makes it less like you're depriving yourself when you have done it ahead of time when you've thought to yourself I want to feel this way I want to feel elegant I want to feel ladylike I don't want to feel like are people looking at me being a piglet eating all these things and stuffing my face and then it's dinner time and then it's uh, dessert I'm going to have two big bowls of dessert you can feel good about yourself and you want to feel good about yourself so that's a good uh, reason to play it out in your mind and choose the way that you want to be and then it just makes it easier to be that way on the day. And the same goes with how you interact with people. I'm sure there are people in your family that you love spending time with and then there might be the odd one or two 
that tend to rub you up the wrong way a little bit or always seem to say something to grate you then maybe you're not quite on the same wavelength with them or who knows what it is but you just don't always have the most fun time when you're around them so you could think well how am I going to be with those people am I just going to be polite but distant am I going to say Merry Christmas and then move on to somebody else Uh, think about the way that you would like it to be and then pre-play that in your mind as well and just have a think about how you want it to go and it will make it easier once you get there it's almost like you're cheating because it really is so easy once you get there and you think well how can I make other people act you know obviously they have to act their part as well in my little play in my mind but it's how you're being that makes it as well so if you're going into it into that day Christmas day or a Christmas occasion or whatever if you're going into it and thinking oh I just don't want to see that person they always bug me we always end up having sort of terse words and it doesn't feel good you're going to go into it with those thoughts in your mind and you might sort of go hello and and be a bit snippy with them or whatever and maybe a snide comment does come out and it's it's because it's in your mind like that whereas if you say to yourself ahead of time right I'm gonna be polite and say hello and smile even though it might kill me and then I'm gonna just drift away and talk to somebody else but at least I've been nice on Christmas day and said something pleasant to them like nice to see you or whatever and um, it just makes it a better experience and it actually does help um, how your day goes and how you interact with them because you have come to it with a different energy I suppose as well. Um, So those are my thoughts I guess it's people and food if there's any other situations that you want to ask me about you can do that in the comments below this video whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or wherever um, just let me know if you have anything else you'd like me to address with regards to pre-playing or pre-paving your experience and um, I can do that so that's my tip for today my name is Fiona Ferris and I'm from howtobechic.com you can read more about how to have a Um, a beautiful Christmas season or holiday season in my book A Chic and Simple Christmas which is available on Kindle and paperback on Amazon, uh, all the different Amazons around the world. Nice to talk to you. Bye.